Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to help you transcend beginner programming because we're no longer going to be programming in one file, we're going to be programming in numerous files by creating a module. And this might sound complicated if you're new, however it's actually really easy because a module is just a Python file. There's nothing syntactically different, we don't have to say def module or anything crazy like that. So the first thing is, let's talk about how we would use this module if it existed, and then we'll go and create it. So it's going to look like this import and then whatever the module name is we'll just call it utils and then we could use the utils module and let's say this is to store various functions that we want to use let's say we want to do some statistical processing and calculate the range of something so the range of something is the highest number minus the lowest number so if you have a list of data it'll order them and take the last one minus the first one so using it might look like this we'll just pass it to a print we would say utils dot and let's just say this is named stats underscore range and we'll pass in a list just with some data in here like so so that is how we would use the module now all we have to do is create it because if we run it right now it says no module named utils so to do this all we have to do is in the same folder create a file and call it utils dot py so we fixed that first problem because now when we run it, it doesn't say it doesn't exist. It just says that it has no attribute stats range. So we need to create that function inside of this file. So I'm going to be teaching you how to create a range function. So we'll just say def stats underscore range. And then all we have to do is take a list as a, an argument. So we'll create a parameter here and we'll just call it data. So we'll sort the data by saying data.sort. And then we will take the last element minus the first element. So data index negative one minus data index zero. And we're gonna return whatever that value is. So that is how we would create the function, really not that complicated. And now what we should get is 40 minus one, which is 39. We run it and we get 39. So that is how we create a module. You may have also noticed that this pycache folder pops up over here, and this is a compiled version of the module. We don't have to worry about this folder at all, just let it do its thing. And in fact, we don't have to worry about it so much, we could even delete it, and it'll recreate itself when necessary. So if we run this again, that folder is created. That's just an optimization thing, but we don't have to go in here and touch any of these files. So now we just wanna talk about variable scope a little bit, and we're not gonna get into all of the details of it, but essentially, one of the issues I had was I wanted to call this range. Do you know, instead of having stats underscore range, just call it range. But this introduced a problem because range already exists. You know, if you do something like for i in range, well, I didn't want to override that. That would be bad. But to showcase this, what would happen? We could change the name of this to range. And in our calling code, we would just now use it by saying utils dot range. And this is totally fine. We run it, it works just the same. And even in here, we can still use the original range. So we could say for i in range, and we'll go up to zero through nine. We'll just print i and then just a space at the end. So we'll just do that just to make sure it works. And you can see we're getting the output we expected. The only time this would be an issue, there's two occurrences where this would be an issue. The first one is in the utils file, if we tried to use the original range down here somewhere, such as looping or whatever, that's going to cause a problem. That's because we're overriding range with this function name up here. So we couldn't do that anymore. The other scenario is in our calling code, if instead of saying import utils, we said from utils import range, well now anywhere we use range, it's going to invoke our function that we created. So this is no longer going to work. We can run this and it says error. Int object has no attribute sort. So it's trying to use that function because we essentially replaced range. So that's the only module of using this syntax here, which is why I generally prefer to just say import utils and invoke it directly on that object. So utils.range. And if you really want to be safe, you could change the name of this back to something like stats underscore range. Now we don't have any overriding of anything, so we're definitely good. And we'll just fix that here, like so. Now this file works, and we could go ahead and use range down here in this code as well. 
So hopefully everything is nice and clear from that. In the next video, I'm gonna give you a little bit more info on how modules are found, where you can put them and so forth. So stay tuned for that and please be sure to subscribe.